I swam in high school and college competitively for many years um, and been lifting weights since I was probably 18 and been very active athletically. So um, I think it was just an ongoing chronic issue. I didn't really have any specific injury I incurred, more of an ongoing thing of many years of uh, overuse. Well, I could tell it was, it was getting a little painful on certain range of motion and I couldn't raise my hand over uh, my shoulder area uh, eventually. Um, and it was clicking and popping and making noises and things. So it wasn't as stable. I couldn't do a push-up. Trying to use the ATM, rolling the window down, and having to get my hand up to being uh, even to my shoulder height, I couldn't do that. So I had to take my other hand and help lift it and put it into the ATM just to slot it. Well, actually, I first searched the internet for um, options because I did not want a total shoulder replacement. Being relatively, so relatively young, I, I wanted to, getting a total shoulder would have given me a limited number of years of use of the shoulder without then having a second surgery. So I searched the internet and actually ran across a friend who knew that Dr. Kovac did this particular procedure um, that I had run across. I wanted to make sure he was shoulder trained. He had a shoulder fellowship. So shoulders are his specialty. And that was important to me because a lot of guys, orthopedists, do knees, hips, shoulders, elbows, which is great, but I wanted someone who specialized in shoulders as their main area and where they had most of their experience and training in. So that to me was very important. So that was one issue. Secondly, he was very friendly, easy to work with, very nice, for answer any questions, took all the time to talk to me. He took an allograft, which is a cadaver cartilage, and put it over the head of the humerus, which is the upper barn bone of the, uh, of the shoulder or the arm. And then also took some other cartilage, same thing, cadaver, and put that into the cup called the glenoid of the shoulder. So it's, he didn't have to really take any um, bone out. He didn't have to put any uh, metal in there or any plastic. Uh, so it's all live cartilage uh, to replace what I had, which was worn down pretty badly. When it got in there, it was down to pretty much bone to bone. Okay. Before I had the surgery, I, doing push-ups was very painful. I meant certain other exercises like military press and things I couldn't do. Now I can do both without any problem. I can now do the ATM with no problem. <laughs> Um, so yeah, it, I can, before I could raise my, my arm above here, above 90 degrees, now it's only up here, I mean, no pain, it works great, it's as good as the other shoulder, maybe better than the other side. <laughs> the other side will probably need a replacement eventually too, but no, it, it's, it's probably actually better than the other side. Um, again, I've done plenty of therapy on it, so I'm not going to say it just happened by itself, but plenty of stretching, plenty of uh, different exercises through therapy and things, it's, it's been a great outcome.